Hey friends, Ash here with Gen Sense, and I'm coming at you guys today with two clone fragrances by the house of Just Jack, which is kind of a weird name, Just Jack. But yeah, these are clone fragrances that are clones of Tom Ford scents. Actually, the entire Just Jack fragrance line, company, brand, whatever you want to call it, are all clones of different Tom Ford fragrances. The two fragrances I'm taking a look at today are tobacco leaf and Italian leather. Yeah, guesses as to what these are clones of. <laughs> it's, it's pretty obvious. Tobacco Vini and Tuscan leather. These fragrances are really cheap. You can pick these up from Fragrance Buy, which is where I bought these for about 20 bucks. I think it's actually a little less. I think it's like 17 for these 50 milliliter size bottles. And you can get 100 ml bottles for a little bit more than that. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys the presentation, show you how these come, bottles included there, and then go over the fragrance itself or the fragrances themselves, let you know what I think about them and let you know whether these are quality Tom Ford clones or complete crap. So let's jump into it. I guess before we jump into the presentations, I'll go over really quickly this house, Just Jack, because you maybe haven't heard of Just Jack, but this is actually manufactured by Sterling Parfums. That is going to be familiar to you if you're familiar with the house Armoff. Armoff is also done by Sterling Parfums, so to an extent, this is kind of like Armoff just underneath a different name. Armoff, of course, going to be most well known uh, by Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is their Aventus clone. I'm not exactly sure why they just said, you know, let's clone everything Tom Ford has done, but let's do it underneath a new name. And um, going forward from that, I don't know why they came up with the name Just Jack, but that's what they've done. And that's what we've got here. Also, I did do a first impression on just Jack Vetiver, which is their version of Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver. And mm, I was maybe a little bit wishy-washy on the first impression. I said it was a pretty good uh, Tom Ford Grey Vetiver clone for the price, but you know, quality wasn't quite there, which you would expect. Again, these are like 17-ish bucks. But I've given that a little bit more testing since that video, and I think that overall, pretty good. If you want an inexpensive version of Grey Vetiver, you can go with just Jack Vetiver. It's not bad, at least as far as 17-ish dollar clones go. But today, we're talking about Italian leather and tobacco leaf, so let's check these out. All right, let's check out the presentation first up, Italian leather. So you've got the name of the fragrance here, the house and the concentration right here in the middle. And then at the bottom, you have the size. These are 50 milliliter bottles that I purchased. There's also a 100 milliliter size. And I believe that the 100 milliliter bottles are different than the 50 mil size bottles. So it's not just like a larger version of the 50 mil bottle. From what I can see online, the 100 mil looks a little bit closer to basically a knockoff Tom Ford bottle. We've got the name of the house here at the top, Just Jack. On the back, you have your ingredient information and badge code. This one was made 09-2019. Expires 09-2024. Fragrance made in France. This is it right down here in the corner. And then you just slide this out like so. And the fragrance sits right inside here. It's a little cardboard cutout and there's nothing on the inside here. It's just a plain cardboard cutout. And then here is your bottle. Yeah, it's honestly pretty cheap looking, uh, extremely cheap looking, actually. It's just a thin, skinny bottle, uh, kind of an hourglass design to it. And then a sticker is slapped on the front here. This is just a plain gold sticker and there's even still some little bubbles and it's a sticker itself where you could kind of push it back down. The cap is just a little plastic cap. And on the top of the atomizer, it says Sterling for Sterling Parfums. And then one thing that I noticed with my uh, bottle of vetiver from Just Jack is this little collar right here that sits around the atomizer. It can sometimes get stuck on the inside of the cap and just 
pops the whole thing off. It's not really a huge deal. You can just dig it back out from the cap and slot it back down here, but overall pretty cheap presentation. I haven't seen the 100 mil size bottles, so maybe they look a little bit better, but these look cheap. Presentation for tobacco leaf is pretty much the same as Italian leather. The differences are on the Italian leather box, it has this sort of leather grain look to it, this little leather grain pattern on the box. And on this one, you have a leaf pattern, which is supposed to obviously simulate tobacco leaf. And then bottle wise, the tobacco leaf bottle has a matte finish where you can't see through it. And mine has kind of an off centered sticker where it's kind of tilted off to the side. Awesome. And I'll show you guys how the atomizer works on these. Go ahead and spray Italian leather. And then tobacco leaf as well. The atomizers aren't too bad. Actually, all things considered, probably the best part of the presentation. All right, finally, we can break these fragrances down. We'll start off with Italian leather. Like I said, this one is supposed to be a clone of Tuscan leather from Tom Ford's Private Blend. The reason I got these two fragrances, the reason I purchased these two, is because Tobacco Vini and Tuscan leather, for me, are kind of linked together. They're like the foundation of the Private Blend line. Those two fragrances are just loved by so many people, worn by so many people, both men and women, that they're kind of like the the bedrock of the modern private blend line from Tom Ford. So I figured I would check out those clones since those are really some of the most important ones in the entire Tom Ford line. So if you're gonna be knocking them off, you should probably do them pretty well. This one opens up with a good amount of leather right off the bat, as well as a dose of spice, mainly saffron. Now with this one, the leather does not come across as rich or robust as in Tuscan leather. It's a little bit thinner. It also comes across a little bit more oily, if that makes any sense. Like the leather note itself is like an, like an almost oily leather. And there's not really raspberry in here. It's not one of the official notes of this fragrance. And I don't pick up a lot of that raspberry sweetness from the scent. It concentrates more on the leather note than it does the raspberry. Now, even though raspberry is not an official note, there's still a little bit of sweetness in here. Uh, and that does remind me a little bit of the raspberry and Tuscan leather. Just again, not really as prominent. It's more in the background here. This one does have a pretty good similarity to Tuscan leather, especially at a distance. So when you spray this one on, if you pick it up, you know, from a distance as you're moving around, it's gonna smell more like Tuscan leather. If you smell it up close, then you're gonna be able to tell <laughs> that it's kind of a knockoff, that it's not quite on that level of quality that Tuscan leather is on, but at a distance, not bad. There's also a little bit of ambery sort of sweetness that comes out in this fragrance as it dries down. It's not the same type as you're gonna get in Tuscan leather with that raspberry, that fruity type sweetness. It's more of a warm, maybe slightly powdery kind of sweetness from the amber. But overall, for a cheap, and this is cheap, under 20 bucks, Tuscan leather clone, it's pretty good. It's gonna get you a similar feel. The quality is not there. The quality is not the same as Tuscan leather. I know some people will say, oh, you know, only real aficionados will be able to tell the difference. But if you've smelled Tuscan leather up close and then you smell this up close, you're gonna be able to tell. You just are. It's not gonna be one of those things where you smell it and you go, oh yeah, 99.9%. .9 if you smell them side by side, you're gonna be like, yeah, yeah, that one's the just jack. But at a slight distance, as I've said a couple times, it's good and it is similar. Is it as good as Rasasi La Yukawam? No, it's not, period. La Yukawam's better, higher quality, better scent all the way around. But for a cheap sub $20 Tuscan leather clone, this one is solid, it'll get the job done. Performance wise though, it's kind of strange. When I first spray this one on, Italian leather, first hour, first hour and a half even maybe, it's got solid projection. It's what you would expect from a leather fragrance pumps out, people are gonna be able to pick it up as you're moving around, leaves a nice scent trail, a nice scent cloud, it's got good sillage. Once it hits the dry down, this one starts to fade quick. So longevity wise, I'm looking at about six hours off my skin, but once this hits the dry down, after that hour and a half or so is up, 
it turns into a skin scent quick. I don't know why that is, because in the opening, this really comes off like it's gonna be a monster performer, like it's gonna be there all day, all night, and really last and project, but once it hits the dry down, it really fades away quickly. It becomes just a whisper off your skin. So if you put your, you know, your nose right next to where you sprayed it, you can pick it up, but after six hours for me, it is gone, just gone, like it was never there. Okay, now on to Tobacco Leaf. Tobacco Vanilla is one of my favorite fragrances of all time, really. The extremely sweet tobacco leaf in there with that heavy vanilla. I love it. This one does not smell like Tobacco Vanilla. So when you first spray this one on, it's not even something I could link to Tobacco Vanilla. If you sprayed this on my skin and you said, hey, this is a clone of a really popular fragrance, what do you think it's a clone of? I would smell it and go, eh, I have no clue. It's not even close enough that I could place this as a tobacco beneath clone. Actually, in the opening of the fragrance, it smells like there's a good amount of cinnamon in here. And the cinnamon comes across kind of like a baking spice. So there's this powdery sort of vibe to the fragrance where it smells like a cookie almost. And really, as it starts to dry down and heads into the mid, to me, it smells like a snickerdoodle cookie, like a powdery snickerdoodle. So kind of a cinnamon sugar type vibe. It doesn't really smell like tobacco leaf to me, at least no tobacco leaf I've ever smelled in fragrances. It's just kind of a powdery cinnamon baking dough kind of scent. Now, all that being said, my wife smelled it and she thought it actually smelled yummy in her words. So she likes the way it smells, but tobacco vanilla, this is not. Once it dries down, it does smell more similar to tobacco vanilla. So at that point, it starts to make sense as a clone or an alternative, but this is not a fragrance that I would consider a replacement for tobacco vanilla. It's, it's not, it's not similar enough. The quality is not the same. This is not the kind of fragrance that I think you could say, oh, well, if you own tobacco leaf, you don't need tobacco vanilla. That's not the case here at all. All this being said, once it hits the dry down and that powdery baking snickerdoodle kind of thing dies off, I actually like the way it smells. It's pretty nice, but it's not really a good tobacco vanilla clone at all. In terms of performance, pretty close to what this one is gonna give you. So again, you're looking at six-ish hours, uh, though Tobacco Leaf is maybe a little bit weaker than Italian leather. So they're not quite as beastly as I was hoping. I actually wore these fragrances in high heat, and I'm talking like 90 degrees Fahrenheit, where you would think it would just be overwhelming and cloying, and that's what I was expecting. But uh, even in high heat, after these work through the mid and they start to hit the dry down, they sit close to your skin pretty quick. And even in high heat, they weren't pumping out and, and choking people out. They just kind of disappeared, fluttered away. In terms of seasons, both of these better for fall and winter, much like the fragrances that they're trying to emulate. And in terms of a daytime or nighttime, pretty much the same as the private blends again that they're trying to emulate. They maybe lean more toward nighttime wear, but realistically wear whatever you want, whenever you want, which I've said, what, 300 times on this channel now? <laughs> I think you get it. As far as just straight up clones, this one is better. Italian leather is much closer to Tuscan leather if you're going for just a straight up clone. As far as something with a little bit of a twist, something a little bit different, Tobacco Leaf is a better bet. It has that weird powdery snickerdoodle kind of thing that my wife really likes for some reason. And the dry down, pretty nice. I'm blown away by either of these, not really, but they're under 20 bucks. What can you expect? And these do look pretty cheap. <laughs> these would look at home like a Dollar Tree. With these bottles, they just look cheap, they feel cheap. They are cheap. But if you love Private Blend fragrances or Tom Ford fragrances and you want a very inexpensive alternative to those fragrances that you can maybe just grab, spray, and wear without thinking about that are gonna give you a similar vibe to Tom Ford scents, definitely check these out. I think of the three that I have, the Vetiver fragrance is the best. 
definitely actually the one that's emulating gray vetiver that one is the one i would go for of the three i have hands down and of these three for me personally the one i like the least is tobacco leaf so just if you want my opinion. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me today with these Just Jack scents. I'll try to grab some more of these in the future, see if maybe some other ones are a little bit better. The Vetiver, again, as I said, that's the one I would go for out of the three I've tried so far. If you've smelled these, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.